Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content the channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Listen, Ravens versus Steelers preview. This is a big game in the AFC North, no matter when they play, no matter what the records are. And the Steelers have beaten the Ravens, I believe, it's four times in a row. So the Ravens have something to prove this game, all right? Even if it's Tyler Huntley at quarterback, um, they still have something to prove, okay? So, like I said, I don't matter. I don't care what the records are. Steelers are five and seven. Ravens are eight and four. Doesn't matter when the games are this big, when the competition is like this, when the rivalry is still there at some at some extent. Uh, the records don't matter, all right. But let's talk about the injury report real quick because you gotta get an idea of who's playing, who's not. So, just the big ones. Uh, Steelers have two big injuries on their injury report. Both guys are as questionable. T.J. Watt, Deontay Johnson. Uh, I'll be surprised if both guys don't play, but got to mention that, okay. Now, on the Ravens' side, Lamar Jackson listed as doubtful. Like I already said, they're going to go with Tyler Huntley. That's already kind of been discussed and put out there, so no reason to even think about that too much. Um, now, as far as everybody else, Kevin Zeitler is a big one. He's a, he's probably a game-time decision when he's listed as questionable. Uh, Patrick Queen is listed as questionable, but he should go. Um, also, Ronnie Stanley, all-pro left tackle, uh, has no injury designation, all right? So we should see him. We'll see what happens. So that's big news for the Ravens if that's the case, okay? So let's talk about the game a little bit, all right? Now, on the Steelers side, obviously, they got Kenny Pickett at quarterback. Um, Ravens tend to do well against rookie quarterbacks, young quarterbacks, you know, the skies. So no matter who they're playing against, uh, no matter who the D.C. is, I mean, uh, Ravens tend to do historically well against rookie quarterbacks, okay? Now, Tyler Huntley on the other side, not a rookie, but still a young quarterback, still a guy who was a very... We gotta be honest, a different offense with Lamar Jackson. Not as much big plays in his offense, but a lot of short, quick passes um, and things like that. So that's it's gonna be the matchup between which young quarterback can have a better game. That's really what it's gonna come down to. But let's talk about the Steelers and some of these numbers, okay? Now, Steelers on offense, right? Pass the offense, 199 yards a game, uh, 24th in the NFL. But they throw it a lot though, 35 times a game for 11th in the NFL. As far as that rushing game goes, 117 yards a game rushing for 16th. And on 27 attempts for uh, 12th in the NFL. So still let's get a lot of plays on offense. So that's about 62 plays on offense. So um, the Ravens have to be able to take the ball away from these guys. Um, limit third down opportunities. I'm sorry, limit third down conversions. And um, really get the ball back to the offense. Right? The Steelers want to, just by this, they want to have the ball. Right? Uh, they got a young quarterback. They want to keep it short, simple for them. You know, they're throwing the ball a lot. The Steelers' offense isn't very explosive. Just by, you can see the numbers, 199. That's not an explosive passing offense, right? So the Ravens have to do a job of, hey, keep everything in front of you. Don't let anything get, get any uh, deep in behind. Now, the Steelers have weapons, obviously. You know, Deontay Johnson, like we mentioned. Um, even George Pickens is a good young rookie wide receiver that a lot of Ravens fans wanted. Um, but the Ravens picked David Ojabo instead. Hey, it is what it is. Um, I did want George Pickens, but... You know, Ravens don't do that kind of personality for whatever reason. We know that's the John Hall ball uh, mindset and whatever. But anyway, I think it was in the news for, you know, kind of requesting the ball, right? And uh, we'll see if that the Steelers kind of meet that request and start giving him the ball a little bit more this game. So that's something to watch out for. Um, you know, Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, two of the best, uh, the best duo in the NFL as far as corners, in my in my opinion. Even though Marcus Peters is having a little bit of slippage this year, um, nothing crazy, but we got to admit that he's not, he has been the same guy, but he's coming right off the ACL, right? So that's not like um, shocking news or anything like that, right? So, um, so the X factor for this game for the Ravens on defense, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be a guy like a Marcus Peters, right? Can he control his side of the field? Right, um, I think the Ravens are going to be able to limit the pass, uh, limit the run game, Najee Harris and things like that. I think they're going to do fine with that. Roquan, uh, all the big guys up front, Patrick Queen. I think they're going to do fine with that. Can they shut down? Uh, can Marcus Peters shut down his side of the field? Right, because Marlon Humphrey's doing this thing. Right, so if there was a weak spot, a quote unquote weak spot to attack, it'd either be Marcus Peters or, the, or who's playing in the slot. So that's how I see it. Right. Um, now, uh, defensively. So the Steelers give up 255 yards a game, which is 29th. Uh, so not, not so great there. But their rushing defense is 7th in the NFL, only giving them 107 yards a game. And this doesn't, it's not say, I'm not saying it doesn't bow well for the Ravens, but we know the Ravens want to run the ball, right? And with Tyler Huntley at quarterback, the passing game is different. Not that Tyler Huntley can't execute a, a competent passing game, he can't. 
It's just that his passing game was more predicated on short, quick hitting stuff and not really taking advantage of anything that we given up deep. Now, giving up stuff deep is could be risky in general just because, you know, Mika Fitzpatrick is back there lurking and he's one of the best safeties in the NFL. Even if the numbers are a little down as far as the defense and as a whole goes, Mika Fitzpatrick is still a really, really good player, right? So, how I look at it is, I mean, I think the expert that can't be anybody but other than Tyler Huntley. It's, it's going to be on him. How does he play this game? The Ravens run game is going to do what it does, right? Greg Roman is going to give them the opportunities to run the ball. Greg Roman is going to dial up run plays. We know that's going to happen, right? But can Tyler Huntley convert these third downs? Can, they t can the Ravens get in good, favorable third downs, right? For his style of play, can the Ravens get in, let's say, third and four or shorter consistently? If that can happen, then Tyler Huntley can uh, deliver an effective game, right? If they can't, He's kind of limited on what he can do as far as stretching the field. Okay, so um, that's that's my opinion as far as Ravens' offense. We gotta look at Tyler Huntley. He's got to be able to execute a passing game, bro. It just has to be. You know, I saw guys, I saw Ryan Mink on Twitter giving Tyler Huntley a, a lot of credit for throwing a five-yard hitch route. You know, the linebacker crashed down, the hitch route's wide open, and he, he threw it. And Ryan Mink made it sound like it was the you know the best read in the world, but. It's kind of what Tyler Huntley does, okay? Um, his first read, his first two reads are there, short, short. He'll take it. If not, he'll start to scramble. He'll look, he'll look to make a play, okay? Um, so what can the Ravens do? Can they help him out? Can they keep it third and short, third and manageable so he doesn't have to always face this um, crazy, crazy pass rush that's coming with uh, Cam Hayward, with TJ Watt, even that, um, uh, Alex Hoffman, I believe his name is. So... Steelers, like they always have, always have guys that can get after the quarterback. Always. Um, so now it's going to be on the Ravens. Can they limit that? And this is a game where Tyler Huntley's short passing style actually may be a benefit. Okay? Get the ball out your hands quickly. Boom, boom. Hit the receivers. Let them make the plays after the catch. And that's what we're going to need to see, man. Some yak yardage. All right? Um, so besides Tyler Huntley, I'm also looking for uh, Demarcus Robinson to have a big game. All right? Because Demarcus Robinson has been up and down. Been up and down. That Carolina game. When, you know, he had nine catches, nine targets, 100-plus yards. I said, okay, we get some rolling. Then we get the Jacksonville game, right? I mean, he was missed on a long touchdown potentially, but it, that's one play. But then he drops a touchdown in the same game, right? And then the whole offense was missing versus the Broncos. So, you know, what it is what it is. So, that's what I'm looking for. So, two guys. Tyler Huntley, Demarcus Robinson. Can these two guys uplift that pass again? Because the Ravens are going to run the ball. We know that. There's nothing to be shocked or uh, uh, even say, like, that's the guy I'm looking for. Ray was going to run the rock. Anyway. Um, so, also, I want to talk about the Steelers in their last three games. So, just to see how they're coming into this game. So, 37-30 versus the Bengals, a loss. 24-17 versus the Colts, a win. And 19-16, 19-16, excuse me, versus the Falcons, a win. So, the Steelers are coming in 2-1, just like the Ravens are. So, you know, the Ravens had the, the, the Panthers game, lost to the uh, the Jags, and now, and then, you know, beat the Broncos by the, you know, the skin of their teeth. So, uh, both teams are coming in 2-1 in their last three games. Both teams are coming in confident, right? They, they got to. Um, the Steelers are going to be at home. So, you know, this is a... The Ravens have traditionally struggled. At Hinesfield, usually these games versus the Steelers at Hinesfield are like a prime time Sunday night kind of game. But I guess with the Steelers kind of being down, you know, they, they didn't want to put it on prime time, but which is understandable. Uh, but these games um, in Pittsburgh have been tough for the Ravens. So can they overcome that? Um, when on the road is what you have to do if you're a really, really good football team, right? And the Ravens and John Harbaugh, they love using the, we didn't win pretty, but it's us. Hey, this is to me. It's gonna be another game where it probably won't be pretty. So just get ready for that speech after the game. The Ravens win. Okay, John Harbaugh gets another. It wasn't pretty, but it was us, right? Um, so if the Ravens are gonna win this game. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout. I think it's gonna be a very, very close game. I don't think it's gonna be a very um, high-scoring game because the Steelers only average 18 points a game for 28th in the NFL. And the defense only allows, so the defense allows 23 points a game, which is 20th in the NFL. All right, so it's all right there. So generally, I don't think that this game is going to be some type of high-scoring blowout. It really, it usually never is for a versus Steelers. It's usually uh, one of the most old-school defensive matchups 
in the NFL, no matter who's on the opposing sides, right? So for me, uh, and I want y'all to give y'all game predictions in the comments too. Give me our, give me our, uh, the score of the game. Give me our breakout, play, not breakout players, but X factors and things like that. But for for me, for my score prediction, I'm gonna go something like. I think this is a 20 to 14 kind of game, 20 to 14 kind of game, and um, I think the Ravens can do it. I think the Ravens can pull it out. So if they do pull it out, that's the score I'm going with. 20 to 14 Ravens. Um, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Backup quarterback, but you get your left tackle back. That's great. Um, defense is still good. They still they got T.J. Watt over there making Fitzpatrick. They got guys who can disrupt an entire game, right? Um, five and seven. They won two of their last three games, so they're coming in confident. Uh, Ravens are eight and four. The Bengals are on their heels. The Ravens need to win these kind of games, right? Um, before the season started, I predict that the Ravens would uh, sweep the Steelers this year. You know, I still feel confident about that. So, um, if that's the case, they got to win this one in Pittsburgh. So, that's what I'm going with. Ravens 20, uh, Steelers 14. Uh, give me your scores, your stats, your, your predictions in the comments, man. We'll talk about it there, all right? It's your boy Gabriel, the Hunter Fan TV. I'm out.